Good morning and welcome to this edition of Hikopedia. As promised, we are in the mountains today. Right now, we're in deepest, darkest Shinju County and Jenshu Township. And we are here. This place behind me is called Li Dong Shandrang or Li Dong Villa. Because in a moment, we are going to climb up to the top of Li Dong Shan or Li Dong Mountain. Um, because there's a historic fort right at the top. Li Dongshan is located in the middle of the ancestral lands of the Atayal indigenous tribe and in their language is known as Dapong or Snowy Peak. The trail is only around 1.5 kilometers but it's pretty steep because it takes you from here which is 1554 meters up to the remains of the fort at 1914 meters. The trail starts here at Li Dong Villa, a quirky hotel that was built single-handedly by a army veteran back in 1971. It used to be a really convenient place for hikers to stop over at when transportation wasn't so great back in the old days but nowadays it's just a starting point for the trail and somewhere you can take a rest and get a drink and you also have to pay a small entrance fee but because of covid it's actually not open today so we're going to have to find another entrance to the trail and i say we because i have a special guest with me today my son everest yeah um it's the last week of his school holidays um, and he's always complaining about how bored he is so I brought him along with me today hopefully he's going to enjoy himself so now we've got to go in that direction and try and find the trailhead okay see you in a bit Okay, we're here at the trailhead. Didi, are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. We've picked up a third member of our hiking party. Look. Shall hey, he's a gun do woman. Did he the dogs following us? Shall hey, Yashama. How are you feeling? Uh, the cool thing about this trail is there's actually two trails you can take. There's an old road that snakes its way up to the hill, um, which is not so steep. And then there's a series of cut-throughs that cut between the road as it snakes up. And obviously that way is much shorter, but it's also much steeper. So uh, we're about 500 meters from the top on the old trail, but we're going to take the short trail, which is only 300 meters. So, uh, let's go! Oh, we're going. Thank you. 
We made it. Yay. But somebody beat us here. Much faster than us. I don't know how he does it. The fort was completed in 1910 and is one of just a couple of Japanese era forts remaining in Taiwan. It was built as part of the colonial government's efforts to survey, pacify and control the indigenous populations in the region. Led by the fifth Governor General of Taiwan, General Count Sakuma Samata, around 2,000 troops began a campaign to take Mount Lidong in 1911. It was eventually captured after heavy fighting with both sides suffering heavy casualties. The fort was then built to consolidate their gains, although the fighting went on for another two years or so until the Atayal finally gave up. Today all that remains of the fort are the four walls and the gate. The walls of the fort are quite well um, preserved and uh, we've got one of these um, structures in the corner. I know there's a special word for it but I can't remember what it's called. I'll put it on the screen. And uh, you've got the, the gun, the eyelets where people would look through and uh, shoot at any uh, approaching enemies. It's pretty cool. You can see this is in the corner of the fort. There's the main gate over there and there's quite a few people here this morning. Okay, we're done. We're gonna head down now. Okay, I thought I'd take this um, rest break to uh, introduce my latest toy which is this it's um you know those little shops they're kind of like Daiso where they just sell loads of um, small stuff and it's very cheap well I love those shops I think everybody does you know you go in intending to get one thing and then you come out with about 25 uh, but this one I saw the other day it is a little plastic bag holder that you clip onto your backpack and inside there's bin bags so you just fetch your bin bag out and then you can put all your rubbish in when you go hiking and usually you can put other people's rubbish in as well because there's always some inconsiderate people who just dump stuff on trails. So uh, yeah, it's really cool. Check it out. Bag. I got two. First time, you know. Okay, ready to take down the mountain.
Oh, it's such a shame. Um, it was really misty when we were up the top, so we didn't get to see any of these beautiful mountains. Now we've come down, we can see them again. Okay guys, um, we are back to the car and we finished the uh, Li Dong Fort Trail. It was a lot of fun actually, it wasn't too strenuous. A nice 400 meter climb and we walked in total about 5k but I didn't start my uh, GPS at the beginning. So, but uh, yeah, it was a really enjoyable hike and a bit of history. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, then you can always give me a like. And uh, if you'd like to catch any of my videos on every Saturday morning, then you can subscribe, hit that bell. And that's it for today. I'd just like to say, as usual, a big thank you to my regular fans and anybody who bought me a coffee this week. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And um, as yet, I have no idea what's in store for next week. But uh, until then, take it easy. I'll see you next time. Over and out. <laughs> okay guys, so we were super hungry so on the way back we stopped at the little sausage stand that you just saw and we got two different kinds of sausages. This first one is uh, got magao, it's kind of like an indigenous pepper uh, that grows in Taiwan and this one has gaoliang, it's a very famous alcoholic drink in Taiwan and China um, but the guy assured me that I won't get drunk and then I also got a Zhu Tong Fan it's also a classic snack that you get whenever you go out to somewhere in the countryside in Taiwan um, and it's basically a piece of bamboo and inside there's cooked rice and the rice usually has bits of sweet potato and um, yam and things like that inside. I tried the Magao one. Mm. Mm. It's got like a kind of a nice tang to it. It's hard to describe the flavour but it's not like pepper. But uh, it's really nice. So if you ever get the chance to try a Magao sausage then uh, there you go. Mm. Give it a go. Galliang one standard Taiwanese sausage vendor that sausage but it's nice. Luckily it tastes like sausage and not too much like Gaoliang because I actually do not like Gaoliang at all. But, uh, so yeah this is nice too. Rice. Zhu Tong Fan. Mm. And I'll